Good morning, friends and family. Today, I am only going to be doing one video, and that is because I want this project to be something that all of you get involved with. Um, all ages can do this. Families, feel free to do this as a big group project while you're at home um, and stuck in isolation, or if you're stuck inside because it's raining out. Um, this is a perfect project for everybody. Um, and today, we are going to be making paper towel tie dyes. So the materials you're going to need today is obviously a roll of paper towels. Um, you're going to need a giant square sheet um, per each project you plan on doing. Um, you're also going to need some rubber bands. Um, I have seen people use twist ties for this. You can use hair ties. Um, it's something to bind um, the paper towel together. Uh, while you're doing this project. So make sure you have some sort of rubber bands with you. You're also going to need your cups of food dye and water. Mixed about 50-50. I did seven drops of food dye with a splash of water in each one. And you're going to need a paintbrush, um, one for each color that you plan on doing. Uh, this way you don't get the dyes mixed up, um, but you can also mix dyes if you want to. That is completely up to you. So I'm going to show you how you do this project. You can create several different designs. Um, I've seen people do circles, you can do swirls, you can do splotches, you can do polka dots. Um, today I'm going to show you the diamond shape. So the first thing you want to do is take a square of paper towel. One big square. Step one, you're going to fold it in half so that it looks like a rectangle. And then you're going to fold it in half again to make a small square. Now rolling it from corner to corner, you're going to make it look like a tube and you wanna roll it pretty tightly so that it looks like this. And as you can see, there's, there's my corner and I'm holding it nice and tight. So now I have a tube in front of me. I'm going to take one of my rubber bands and I'm going to wrap it around the middle. Being very careful not to break my rubber band. Okay. Make sure it's nice and in the middle as best as you can. So now it should look like so. Next, I'm going to place another one at the top, not all the way at the tippy top, but in between the middle and the top, so about here. Like so, and now I'm going to flip it over and do it again on this side. Again, in the middle between the top and the middle rubber band. Okay, so now that my rubber bands are in place, I am going to start tapping my colors onto the different sections that I have created, starting with the two in the middle. And I think I'm going to start with red first. Now when you tap it, you want to tap just in the middle. The paper towel is going to soak up a lot of the food dye and the color, so you do not need to worry about making sure that it's completely covered or if it's completely um, wet and saturated. Just press it on there and eventually you'll feel the paper towel start to get really flimsy. Um, that means that it is soaking up that water and dye. So there's one color. Next, I'm going to do green. And again, just tapping. As you can see, the paper towel picks it up really, really quick. And I wanna be careful to keep it away from the red. That's why I have left two white spots, because as you can see, as it's soaking, the red is now soaking all the way into the rubber band on both sides. Next, I'm going to do yellow on the end. And this 
this one is very small, so I don't need a lot, a lot. That should be good. Flip it over, and I'm going to do my last color, which I have blue. And you're going to tap it on there. Again, you don't have to make sure the whole white part is completely covered. You just want to wait until it starts feeling flimsy. Now I have a complete roll, kind of looks like candy. Now I'm going to wait about a minute or so um, just to make sure that that last color that I did soaks into the paper towel. I'm going to wait a little bit for it to dry. Um, this way, you know, you can do your cleanup process or you can go ahead and create another one and then open the first one when you're all done waiting for all of them to dry. Um, again, this is a really cool, really fun project to do at home. It's super simple. I've seen people try to do it with, um, you can do this with t-shirts, uh, you can do this with hats, bags, any sort of canvas material. Um, so using paper towels is actually a really good practice um, to trying to perfect your tie-dye skills if you want to do a t-shirt or if you want to do a hat or a bag in the future. You can also do this with your masks at home. If you have canvas masks and it's just white and it's boring and you're not really super happy with it, um, you can always use RIT dye, which is a fabric dye, or you can do the food dye trick um, and make sure you wash it really good um, when you're all done doing it. So now that I've waited about a minute for this to dry, I'm going to very carefully take these rubber bands off. Of course, doing the ends first. You wanna be careful because you don't want to rip the paper towel as it is going to be wet and relatively damp. So the one in the middle, I'm going to be extra careful with. Okay, now for the reveal. I'm going to open it up very carefully. And presto, I have a very, very cool uh, tie-dye print. These can be framed. I know it's silly because it's a paper towel, but they can be framed. You can hang them on the wall. Um, you can do a lot of different patterns with these, like I said. You can do many different colors. Um, again, I hope yours turned out something like this. Um, if you want to try to do circles, I do believe the technique is the same. Um, the only difference is instead of rolling from angle to angle when you have that square shape, you're simply going to roll it um, normally like you would when you're rolling dough or if you're playing with Play-Doh. Um, so the technique is the same. However, uh, the way you fold your paper towel is what changes it. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun doing this at home with your friends and family. Um, it's a really cool group project and then you get to play with lots of colors. You get to use lots of materials. It's very hands-on um, and I hope you make lots of cool things at home. I hope you're all staying safe and have a good weekend guys and I'll see you on Monday. Bye!